Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to the Master Flow Plumbing YouTube channel, where it is our goal and our mission to help teach you, the average homeowner, some basic plumbing repairs that you can accomplish around the home yourself. Before you do attempt to do any of this though, we'd like to remind you that plumbing can be a dangerous activity and can cause personal injury and or property damage. So before you attempt to do any of this, please read our full disclaimer down here in the description box. While you're down there, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and the like button as it does help us tremendously to keep bringing you this useful content. Okay, in today's video we are going to talk about PVC pipe and how you glue it together. There's a lot of uh, different techniques. There's also a lot of different kinds of PVC. I'm not going to get into a lot of that today in great detail. I am going to tell you some differences between them all. And then I'm going to talk about the different kinds of glue and primer that there are available to actually glue them together. Today, though, we're going to primarily talk about Schedule 40 PVC. Okay, when I say PVC, I'm talking about the white stuff. It looks like this. Um, generally, there's only two kinds of this. There's a uh, there's foam core and solid core. This piece happens to be foam core. And what that means is that it's got an outer layer of PVC, an inner layer of foam, uh, and then an inner layer uh, inside of that that's actually PVC also. They do that to save weight and save cost. So let's talk about the quick, uh, real quickly, let's talk about the different types of PVC that are actually out there. There is regular PVC. Um, like I said, this is a piece of Schedule 40 PVC. There's also what they call CPVC. Uh, CPVC is easy to identify and it's only used typically for pressurized water lines. Um, it is used um, to save money, or at least it has been in the past. It's not real widely used anymore, but if you come across it, the easiest way to tell uh, that it is CPVC, if you can't see the writing on there that tells you that it is CPVC, um, it is usually a beige color or kind of a yellowish color. If you're going to be working with that, um, there is a special kind of glue called CPVC glue. Um, it can either be orange in color or yellow in color, depending on what brand CPVC you're using. It can be very specific, so make sure you pay attention to what kind of PVC pipe you are using. Because if it is CPVC, you don't want to use the techniques used in this video because although the applications are about the same, the different types of glue, um, they're, they're very different. So you don't want to use regular PVC cement on CPVC. There's also Schedule 80 PVC. Uh, we're not going to get into that a whole lot today either, uh, but there are you know, different ways of handling all that. And there's also ABS, which is uh, often confused with PVC, but it is not. ABS is actually ABS plastic, and uh, you don't want to use regular PVC uh, fittings or glue and primers on that. So now glue and primers. Um, Let's talk about those real quick. I live in Michigan. I work in Michigan, so I have a tendency to use the uh, the OD All Weather Medium Bodied Clear PVC Cement. Um, all Weather allows me to keep it on my truck in the winter time without it freezing up. Uh, you don't have to use All Weather. It is a little bit more money. You can use regular OD PVC cement. You just want to make sure that it says PVC cement right there, and not CPVC cement or ABS cement. Uh, so. Today, for today's demonstration, we are going to be working with that. We're also going to be working with two different primers here I'm going to show you. There's purple primer, which most people are familiar with. I'm going to explain some differences with that in a minute. Um, there's also clear primer, which I have a tendency to use the most, most often. Uh, there's also another piece of, or I mean another type of uh, PVC glue here called Rain or Shine. And this is actually used in wet conditions. So if you're working with PVC pipe outside in the rain, uh, they say you could actually do this underwater if you wanted to. I have never tried that, so I don't, don't advise that you do either, unless you just want to have some fun. We're not going to use that today. That stuff is actually blue in color instead of being clear, so it is uh, made, made for uh, wet conditions, basically. So we're not going to use that today. So we're going to use the, uh, the all-weather medium uh, clear PVC cement here today. And real quick, we'll talk about primers. Um, depending on where you live at and what your local plumbing codes are, your, your local plumbing inspectors may require a purple PVC primer to be used anytime you're gluing PVC pipe together. Biggest reason why they want the purple is so that they can see that you used a primer. Um, I will caution you though, it is a very messy product to work with and if you spill it on anything, including your skin, you're going to stain it permanently. 
Um, it will eventually wash off of your skin, but it will not wash off of concrete floors. It will not wash off of linoleum. It will not wash off of tile grout, things like that. So if you're going to use it, what I would suggest is that you actually kind of, especially with a brand new can, you can see it'll make a little bit of a mess up here on the top of the can. Pull it out, let it drip a little bit. If you want to avoid making a big mess with it, the best thing you can do is actually have an old towel, paper towel, or something like that, and kind of dab it on here, soak up some of that excess. That way it's not just dripping off of here and making a big mess. So what we do is we use the primer inside of the fitting and on the pipe. So what I'm going to do is nice and neatly rotate that around on the inside of that without trying to let it drip on the outside of the pipe at all. Um, as you can see, there's still some wet inside of there, and if you do it, drip it, it will actually leave a purple streak all over the pipe, and it looks pretty bad. So then you also want to do approximately the depth of the socket of the fitting that you're working with, and a, a little bit more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that all there, on there. So what the primer does is it actually it, uh, it preps the PVC. And always close your lid on the purple primer when you're not using it so you don't accidentally knock it over a customer's house. I learned that the hard way many, many years ago. Um, always close it when you're done using it so you don't knock it over and make a mess. Uh, so anyways, the primer, what it does is it preps the PVC and actually kind of softens that plastic up. It's a chemical reaction and it allows the PVC glue, which is our next step, to actually bond those two pieces of plastic together. Uh, some plumbers call that solvent welding um, because that's exactly what it is. You're actually welding those two pieces of plastic together using chemicals, basically. You know, the, the, the glue and the primer are the chemicals. Uh, so the next step after you've got your primer there and your primer is actually, you know, pretty much uh, absorbed into the PVC, and just real simply take your glue, get the excess off. Usually on the can is good enough for that. Um, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing you did with the primer. You're going to do the inside of the fitting, and you're going to come around here, you're going to do the outside of the pipe. Now, it's also helpful to have a rag or a glove handy for this too. Because the next step, what you do, is you push this in place, and you want to hold this for about 15 to 20 seconds. In the meantime, though, you can wipe off that excess glue that comes squirting out of there so it doesn't make a mess and so that it looks fairly neat when you're all done. So I'm going to hold that on there, because if I don't hold it on there for about 20 seconds, the PVC, the reaction between that glue and the actual plastic will actually cause it to kind of creep off and before you know it, it's actually not on the pipe anymore and the fitting has actually fallen off of there. So make sure you hold it on there for about 20 seconds and then let it go. Uh, PVC glue, if you read the back of the can, it actually takes about two hours for it to completely cure. Uh, most of the time for drain line purposes, underneath your sinks and stuff like that, you can pretty much use it almost right away as soon as you're done with the job. Uh, so the next demonstration I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this trap adapter into the other side of this 45 degree elbow like this. And I'm going to just use a clear primer. okay? And I like to use a clear primer because, well, if I spill a little bit of that somewhere like that, it doesn't cause a big purple stain somewhere on a customer's floor or make a big mess. And uh, it just, in general, looks a little bit neater when it's all done so you don't have this purple all over your pipes in your basement. Here in Michigan, where I live at, the local plumbing inspector does allow us to use clear uh, they just want to make sure that they can see where the, the writing, that the inked writing that comes on the PVC pipe is smeared a little bit so they know that we've used it. But same, same technique, you're going to just kind of go around it like this and get it nice and clean. As you can see, the primer actually does clean all that writing off of the pipe and it makes the pipe nice and shiny and, and white right there. And that's a good thing. Okay, oh, almost forgot. We're going to go ahead and do the inside of our fitting also. And then we are going to go ahead and put some glue on there, just like we did the other end. Some on the pipe. We're going to go ahead and push that in there and hold it. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and just wipe off that excess glue so it doesn't make a big mess. We're going to hold it on there for about 20 seconds. While I'm holding this on there, that's going to conclude today's video on how to glue PVC pipe together. It's very basic. It's pretty simple. Um, if you get the chance, please go down below and click subscribe and like this video. It helps us tremendously to keep bringing you these type of videos uh, so you can do some of these things around your, your home yourself. Uh, in the coming years, you're going to notice a big skilled labor shortage in this country. And uh, that's the purpose why we're doing these videos. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day.